Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Test Center coverage. My name is Wilfred reporting directly from this uh, Test Center, Marvel Heroes the game. And uh, the Test Center has been down for quite some time over the Thanksgiving weekend, but now it's up with a lot of uh, bug fixes and hero improvements. So also I'm very happy to share some of this like uh, um, you know my my test result with you, uh, but as Gazi didn't say, I mean these are just for the. It's not a preview. It's for us to test to see what kind of feedback we have for the hero. So don't take it too seriously, uh, whether you like it or not. But always discuss is fine. Now today let's talk about uh, Blade. And for Blade, I've got quite a number of you who asked for it. Uh, Samuel, Brian, Coop, and some others as well who like to see uh, Blade. I mean, uh, I, I don't think Blade is a uh, very popular hero, maybe not, but I personally like to play him a lot. I think he's very fluid and so on. Now he has two builds, of course, the uh, melee and ranged. Um, let me just manage expectation here. There aren't a lot of changes to Blade. So the good news is that if you like Blade as he is, then it's good um, because uh, there's really nothing much really changed. I'm going to show you some of these like, uh, uh, choices and so on. Now he can be a ranged hero, he can be a, a melee hero. I kind of like Blade as a ranged hero. So I'm going to show you his range view here, talk a little bit about his talent and trait, and then play a little bit about uh, on this cosmic time square for you. All right, so now, uh, from Blade's perspective, uh, his traits are Born to Strife, uh, which is the uh, there's a crit chance on top of uh, whatever he's doing, and the uh, his arch type is uh, Fighter, so it's Strength and Fighting. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, Strength is fine. I think Fighting you are actually competing with the uh, Brutal Strike uh, chance, so you know it's one of those things. Um, you know, uh, if you look at the current Infinity system. Uh, plus, plus why he has something called thirst, so whenever he is in combat, he will increase the desired feat. And when that happens, uh, you know, um, if, if he hit the thirst when the screen is all like you know all the blood coming out, uh, he becomes starving. So when he starves, then his damage output become less and less, uh, become less as well. So um, and and you start to uh, to to lose health, but of course you can regenerate health. Uh, when you hit enemy, you can use a serum to eliminate thirst and the uh, and so on. So um, so that's part of the way to to play play is the uniqueness of the hero. All right. So the last one is Day Walker. Uh, he has a health on hit uh, by default, uh, kind of like two ninety one. I don't know how to calculate that. But in any case, a defense dodge hero, so it's very nice. Defense is always always very nice. And uh, so when you hit with a melee. Reduction eight eight percent, so that's no uh, no surprise there. Um, so that is the trait itself. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, the power itself. So one is called Vampire Hunter, the other one is Tools of the Trait. Now, whatever power you don't, you don't see here, don't worry because it will be augmented using the uh, the talent that you will see later. Uh, I don't. I think it's one of those things that they they force you to pick one of the two. So in the end, net net, you will get back the whole entire build, um, be as melee or be as range. I think. All right. So now, uh, the first one is the uh, hat and slash uh, basic power. You know, this light basic. Basic is the one. Or you can do a deadly. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, this is the uh, so that is the basic power and the non basic one. Uh, any means necessary is the non basic one. It's also one of the build that I'm using for my melee build. I use any means necessary. Okay, uh, serum is here. So I, I already talked about serum, so I'm not going to spend too much time about it. Uh, the glyph orbit is the one that will give the bleeding, uh, uh, grievous wounds. Uh, it's the one that uh, kind of like a damage over time that you apply to your enemies. Uh, range has an uh, equivalent as well, don't worry. And uh, deadly, deadly Dash is the one that just dash around, the one that you've seen. Uh, Party Crusher is the one that uh, you can do a melee area kind of thing. So I, I hope uh, it, it is very kind of like, um, you know, no surprise to you. And you may think, well, where is my signature for the uh, for the um, you know, melee build, it will come later. Don't worry, it will come. All right. Tools of the tray is uh, is a range build, uh, also one that I enjoy. And uh, pump action is the one that uh, range spender. So it's either this one or any mean necessary. Hmm. All right. So one is range, one is melee. Uh, then you have the uh, whittle into kindling, which is range area bleeding channel. So if you are into channel, then this is one of those things. Uh, if not, then you use uh, you know, main spender, all right? Either one. Uh, hand cannon is the basic range. Not talking too much about it. UV grenade is the one that apply vulnerability. 
all right, and do a stun as well, a six second cooldown. Uh, stick thrower is the uh, range power, it has the execute function to it, and also damage uh, versus bleeding. So just like the life server, I hope. Uh, toxin loaded uh, Gwalet is a melee power. Uh, well, then you say, wow, you know, you talk about all this range power, how come there's a melee power? Don't worry. the Talent will augment this accordingly. So toxic loaded wallet is for the melee build to apply the mobility against the uh, the you know enemy with the gravest wound. So very much like the uh, what we have in the life server as well. Then from a range point of view, you have the unleash glyph, uh, which is a range bleeding versus the glyph orbit, uh, which is also a you know melee kind of like bleeding. So yeah, so it's one of those things that mirror each other. Last but not least. My name stick with his signature range. I love this, the home animation of that, but there is a melee version as well. So, all in all, no surprise. For those who, who've been playing Blade, uh, it's very much very, very similar to what we have in the live server. All right, so now, uh, first level of um, first tier of the uh, talent is very much like the specialization that we have today on the serum. Never sated, uh, which is the, uh, I, I think this. I'm not going to go through too much on this one, but there are basically there are three types that uh, you can either um, you know uh, you can you can manage your 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 thirst in a different way, or you can say that uh, you know when you use a serum within six seconds of starving, you can actually get you know retain the uh, kind of like uh, active effect of the serum for extra five seconds and so on and uh, reset the non cooldown power and uh, all in control you say I do not want to manage thirst at all, I just want to like you know have a general buff. Uh, to myself you can do that too you don't have to manage the thirst however i think that for blade is a lot more fun if you kind of do the thirst starving cycle to it all right so this one is more risk taking by the way uh, it's a lot of words there but this is more risk taking this one is kind of like you know just nice you can you can just remember you serum every uh, every time that you you are able to clear off your thirst and the last one you just say i don't bother with the thirst all right so i pick this one here Okay, uh, then you have the uh, toxin loader uh, gwalet and hyper toxin uh, gwalet's death explosion cause enemy to be terrified. That's one. Or you can precision strike, um, basic power buff. And the last one is the uh, indomitable hunter. So when you use the melee power, you generate the uh, health. So I'm a range build, so naturally I'll go for the uh, hyper toxin grenade, um, kind of like death explosion cause enemy to be terrified. Uh, next one, a ruthless efficiency. My name stick gain the following effect. So it restores spirit uh, using my name stick. Um, or you can say transform my name stick into killing stroke. Uh, so basically that become a melee power. So they answer my question earlier on or your question that you may have is that, where is my melee signature? Yes, it's still there. Do not worry. Exactly the same. Or a patient hunter. My name is again the following kind of thing. So you know, increase the 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 cooldown and create more, give you more damage bonus. I'll work out the number in future to come. But I think I'm not going to spend too much time on the whole build and so on. This is not a guide. It's more like not even preview. It's just show you what is to come. All right. So I'm going to have the uh, spirit restoration. Hyper toxin grenade, so it transfer the bullet, uh, it transform the bullet into the grenade. So that's why I said uh, this is a melee power, but you can use this one to change it into a ranged power. All right, so that is what what you have. Or you say, well, you know, um, if you if you don't bother about that, you could actually have deadly aim. Uh, the stick thrower become like the uh, you know kind of. Uh, uh, damage over time as well, it gain damage over time, stick thrower, which is one of the execute one, make it even more powerful. Then you have one less kind of thing here, uh, and then what you're going to do with the other one, I don't know, uh, maybe build variety, build variety. Life of party, apply life of the party to allies when you are in combat, uh, party crusher deal double damage to enemy in the center. So I think party crusher is the one that, um, which over, over one of these guys, I think. Uh, party crusher, which is this one here, melee and area. So you can do a, I think in some way you can do a hybrid kind of a melee area build uh, to, to go after this one. But today, just pure build, all right? So now, a uh, last one, a uh, vibranium battery is the UV granite. Um, uh, you, you can uh, gain the following effect, uh, pulses and additional two times at half damage. 
or you can say fearsome arsenal uh, which is the uh, you know blah 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 which is um, gaining charges i i do not think i want to manage charges but however you know some of you always say that oh man not all my all my cooldown all my power is on cooldown what i'm gonna do so this is to answer to a lot of complaints saying that my hero everything is on cooldown i can't do anything right so you can increase your charges the next one is that um uh, stick thrower transform into a stick through the heart which is a melee so this one become a melee execute power so what I'm, what am i going to do here is probably uh just uh make my uv granite a little bit uh, more interesting at another two times additional two times at half the whatever it is all right so i'm going to play some games here um i hope that's fine with you i'm going to summon my team up and uh, here we go he rides a bike and he still rides a bike with the headlight on which is rather cool so uh, let me just like uh, so this is the one that I can do uh, the, the, okay so this is the uh, the signature and uh, let me just stun something here so yeah I mean that, that is it so that is uh, I clear everything here um, I'm getting my thirst uh, well Alright, so I have to be a bit careful. Kai a little bit here. Let me clear the serum here. Let me use a mag kit. And I can use my signature. Alright, so nice, nice, nice. Done. Alright, done deal. So, uh, wow, I, I don't have any charges here, man. Seriously. Alright, so that is the one uh, that pulls save the day. And the uh, UV Gunai. And a lot of effect here, man. If you do the, uh, use the... Let me clear the serum here. All right, so I think the charges would be rather useful, though. Come to think of it, um, you know, and yeah, uh, you know what I should do instead of the Gurnoi uh, UV thing here. Let me just do something here, if you don't mind. I'd like to try out the other one that uh, get a bit of charges here. I can't because I am in combat. All right, so this is uh, again a little bit more charges here, so I hope this is fine. Just want to try out like what is going to happen here. Wow, there's quite a lot of charges here, by the way. All right, ah, my mobility is gone. So, so okay, that's it. Let me see. Bit of concentration here though, range build is always a bit uh, a bit uh, scary here. I want to go out, clear the thing, and oh clear the thing, okay. Oh man, my I, I run out of uh, charge here. Hmm, not ideal. Walking, walking, just keep walking. So uh, that is it and the um, Okay, so that's it, uh, done. Um, do I like it? Uh, I do not, I'm not entirely sure whether I like the extra charge or not. Maybe... Hmm... So that is the extra charge I have. Or I say, let's stick with this one here. Maybe I like it, this one, the other one better. Alright, so... Because it seems to hit a bit better. I don't know, just seems. But uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, done, I hope. Um, okay, one more here. And the, uh, you know what? I don't think I have a spirit issue with uh, with blade. So maybe I don't need the one that give me a uh, kind of like um, spirit return for the signature. huh? So it's part of the testing here. Uh, it's fun thing because uh, sometimes when you read all the things uh, on paper, uh, Things may not be... Wow, there's a lot of things, man. Oh, there's a UV thing. It's nice. Alright, so... In the... Yeah, I think I need to find a way to burn my spirit better. Alright, this is part of my testing, by the way. And usually what happened in my build generation... I mean, when I do my build, uh, uh, usually what I do is that I look look at all this little detail and see how I can build my... My hero is better for you guys, um, or for myself actually, <laughs> as well. You know, a lot of time. Okay, let me do a signature here. Yeah, it's just that the uh, the bosses are just chasing after me, and I have to be very careful not to um, not to not to get hit by some of these things while moving and serumming. <laughs> serumming. Hmm. Okay, let me do a signature here. I'm invulnerable during the signature, it's just that I may miss. Uh, okay, that's it. Done. 
Okay, all right. So now I'm on to the boss, and uh, let me do an ultimate here. Wow, nice, man. <laughs> His ultimate has uh, virtually done the job already, huh? Signature. Yay, I win. Well, Blade wins. So, um, yeah, do let me know how you feel about it. I think I think it's rather just similar to to the, to the blade that I have uh, in the live server. Um, I guess the difference you could do is have extra charge so, so as not to have too many cooldowns on this kind of thing you can have like I think I think this could be quite powerful but I need some time to master it because um, I'm, I'm not used to the rhythm of managing charges right now it does need a while playing but this is just like uh, you know sh sh showcasing to you uh, how the current work in progress play is like so do let me know in the comment box below how do you like uh, like play what do you think about him and the um, so in general, just uh, just engage in a conversation here, and I would like to do a bit more uh, for you guys. Um, yeah, we'll see. So uh, I'll catch up with you in just a bit. All right, bye.